Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Working Money, getting your money working for you. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about Ripple XRP. Should I sell all my Ripple? Uh, and for that matter, should I be selling my Bitcoin and my Ethereum as well? I mean, as we know, the market is down right now uh, on Coin Market Cap, as you can see. Uh, I mean, we are in the green as we speak right now at the making of this video, but realistically, the market has been taking a big downturn, as you can see by these graphs. They're all pretty identical. Um, all the altcoins are following the big king, Bitcoin here. Um, so the market's down, and you know it's a question that a lot of people contemplate. Um, here's the Ripple chart uh, on a one day. And as we remember, we had a big move up at the end of last year, 2017, and then the market just tanked. And now it's all the way down here. Um, so should I sell all my Ripple and all my Bitcoin and all my Ethereum, all my altcoins for, for that matter, because cryptocurrency is garbage and why would we ever want to hold a position in crypto? Well, I personally don't think you should sell anything, especially if you bought up here, because you'll just be losing money. Um, if you bought somewhere around here, I still wouldn't sell. Even if you bought down here and now it's, you know, it's made a couple of cents, you know, per ripple, I still wouldn't sell, guys. And this is because maybe a lot of you are watching these videos because you don't really have too much experience trading crypto or stocks or anything like that. But on the short, on this short time frame here, we're only looking at a few months here. Um, XRP and Bitcoin, for example, have all been taking the same kind of toll They've, you know, they went up at the end of last year and they've all been taking a hit. So, you know, XRP, we see here, Bitcoin has done the same thing. And ultimately the answer is no. This is going to be uh, part number one in a two-part video. Uh, I just wanted to kind of lay the groundwork here before we get into the second part. Um, before you guys watch the second video, I would like you to watch this video here. <clears throat> it's on YouTube. It's called Bitcoin Histor Historical Price Action is Pure Art by Bitcoin Salvador. I will link it in the video. And what it will show you is the historic Bitcoin price over the last, um, well, since Bitcoin's inception, or maybe I think it's maybe 2010 or 11. But nevertheless, it starts uh, right when Bitcoin is in its infancy, around six cents a coin. And it brings us all the way to present day. So, and we can view the trends. This is a really good video because it shows it to you in fast motion. Um, so it time lapses uh, on a weekly um, candlestick over several years, and we can see where Bitcoin goes. And, you know, when you see this kind of a thing, you know, Bitcoin skyrocketed up and then it tanked, you know, it might um, feel a little disheartening because you're like, oh my God, like, where'd my investment go? Is it ever going to recover? Uh, so I strongly recommend that you watch this video. Uh, and then tomorrow I'm going to do another video uh, dissecting this video a little bit regarding the Bitcoin price and uh, where it has gone in the past and where it probably will go in the future. So, um, and that goes for all altcoins, guys. I mean, Ripple XRP uh, is a great coin, as we know. It has real-world utility, unlike all these other coins. But I really do like the top three coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple XRP. So um, take a look at this video, guys, and then uh, I'll catch you tomorrow for another video discussing this Bitcoin historical price. And uh, we'll, we'll go and do a little more research on that and, and kind of maybe guess where the price could go in the future. So that's it for me today, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and uh, like this video. It'd be great. Tell all your friends about this video. Um, yeah, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.